in the headlines. Vietnam Sustainable Urban Development Forum 2022 opened. Leaders of Kansas City extended congratulations to press agencies in the area on the occasion of the Vietnam Revolutionary Press Day, June 21st. Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee worked with the president of the Korea Asia Economic Cooperation Association, or COAEK. Hello and welcome to Kansas News of Kansas Radio and Television Station and Top News Today. On June 17th morning, the Central Economic Commission coordinated with the Construction Ministry and relevant agencies to organize the Vietnam Sustainable Urban Development Forum 2022. The function was co-chaired by head of the Central Economic Commission Trung Tung An, Deputy Prime Minister Le Vang Than, and Minister of Construction Nguyen Than Nghi. With the theme of sustainable urban development in the direction of green and smart cities, adapting to climate change, preventing natural disaster and epidemics, the forum was broadcast to 872 urban areas nationwide and international locations. Attending the function in Kansas City was standing vice chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing. Up to now, Vietnam has 869 urban areas of all kinds distributed relatively evenly throughout the country. The urbanization rate determined by competent agencies has increased from 30.5% in 2010 to 40.5% last year. Urban space is expanded. Technical infrastructure and socio-economic infrastructure are invested synchronously and modernly. The urban economy has continuously grown at a high grade, that is from 1.5 to 2 times higher than average, representing about 70% of the country's GDP every year. However, many shortcomings remain in the planning and management of urban planning and development. The urban rate is still low, developing mainly in width. Delegates participating in the forum analyze and clarify the strategic orientation of urbanization, urban development and urban economy in Vietnam to 2030 with a vision to 2045. Deputy Prime Minister Le Vang Than underscored the need to continue to renew thinking in planning, planning management, urban development and urban management. It is necessary to have long-term vision with special attention and priority given to urban infrastructure, transport infrastructure and public welfare. Local planning should not be arbitrarily adjusted to disrupt the general plan, and public utility works should not be sacrificed for the development of commercial and residential areas. A delegation comprising leaders of the Municipal Party Committee, the People's Council, the People's Committee, and the Vietnam Final and Friend Committee of Kansas City, led by Standing Vice Secretary of the Municipal Party Committee, Cum Chairman of Kansas City People's Council Phan Van Hiu, has just visited and extended congratulations to press agencies in the area on the occasion of the Vietnam Revolutionary Press Day, June 21st. Accordingly, the delegation offered congratulations to the collectives of Cần Thơ Radio and Television Station, VTV Cần Thơ, Cần Thơ Journalist Association, the representative office of Voice of Vietnam in the Mekong Delta, and the representative office of Nhân Dân Newspaper in Cần Thơ City. At the destinations, on behalf of the delegation, standing vice secretary of the Municipal Party Committee, come chairman of the City People's Council, Phan Van Hiu, acknowledged as well as highly regarded the contributions of central and local press agencies to the work of publicity, encouragement and navigation of the party's guidelines and the state policies and laws in general, and of Gunther City alone for the people. Marking the 97th Vietnam Revolutionary Press Day, leaders of the city wished that the press agencies would be increasingly developed, contributing to well accomplishing their side political missions. Celebrating the 97th Vietnam Revolutionary Press Day, June 21, 1925, June 21, 2022, on June 17 morning, the National Assembly Delegation of Kansas City, led by Deputy Head of the City's National Assembly Delegation Dao Ying Nghĩa, visited and offered presents to Kansas newspaper and Kansas radio and television station. 
On behalf of the delegation, deputy head of the city National Assembly delegation Dao Yingye extended his thanks to the two press agencies that have paid great attention to the operation of the city National Assembly delegation in the past time and gave the best wishes to the leaders and the staffs of the units on the Vietnam Revolutionary Press Day, June 21st. He wished that the news agencies would continue to accompany the National Assembly delegation in time to come so that the National Assembly delegation can timely grasp the aspirations of voters in Kansas City. In other news, on June 17 afternoon, Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee Jung Vik Jung worked with the President of the Korea Asia Economic Cooperation Association, or COAEK, Lee Nam Ki, and the accompanying delegation on the possibilities for cooperation and investment between Kansas City and the Republic of Korea in time to come. President of the Korea Asia Economic Cooperation Association, COAEK, Lee Nam Ki, informed the function that after the previous meeting that took place in May, he learned that Korean businesses are especially interested in the projects of the airport city, the logistics center, and the linkage center for the production, processing, and consumption of Miko Delta agricultural products that have been introduced by Kansas City. COAEK will gather experts and top companies in the three aforementioned fields for support. At the same time, it suggested that Gunter City establish an association group to come up with specific exchanges and initially serve the economic forum between Gunter and COAEK slated for mid-September in Gunter City. Chairman of Gunter City People's Committee Jung Vik Jung informed that he would promptly direct the formation of such an association group in the coming week, while informing the delegation that the projects that they are interested in are in the planning phase for submission for verification. Co AEK can firstly join the city in planning to come up with the next cooperation step. Chairman Jung Vik Jung also expressed the wish that Co AEK will act as a link between Gunther City and Incheon City, so there will be a direct flight route between the two localities, and believe that through Co AEK and the upcoming economic forum, more and more Korean enterprises would be interested in and invest in Gunther City. In the same afternoon, Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Nguyen Thu King received the Cambodian Consul General in Ho Chi Minh City, Sok Direct. Cambodian Consul General in Ho Chi Minh City, Sok Direct, expressed his joy when returning to the beautiful and hospitable city of Gunther to attend the activities celebrating the 55th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Cambodia. In the past time, the cooperation relationship between Gunther City and Cambodian localities has been unceasingly fostered and developed in many fields through the visits of locality leaders of both countries. Gunther City has facilitated the study of Cambodian students. These are factors that further deepen the bilateral relationship in the future. Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Nguyen Thu King stated that Gunther always paid attention to building the friendship and cooperative relations with localities of Cambodia. He wished that in time to come, Cambodian Consul General Sok Direct will be the link that helps promote the image, potential and strengths of Gunther City to investors. Both sides should enhance cooperation and support each other in the fields of education, healthcare, and especially high tech agriculture, boost cultural exchange activities to further promote the Vietnam Cambodia relation. The Council of Ho Chi Minh Young Pioneer Organization of Ninh Kiều District, the Children's House, and the Education and Training Office jointly organized the Festival of the Mang Nong or Bamboo Shoot Publicity Team with the theme of Preventing Child Drowning in 2022. The festival attracted 11 publicity teams from secondary schools in the district. With the theme of Preventing Child Drowning, the publicity teams competed in two rounds of self-introduction and acting, with content emphasizing the importance and benefits of learning to swim to prevent drowning. The publicity team of Yu Vang Eng Secondary School was awarded the top award at the festival. And now let's have a look at the updated weather forecast.
Weather updates has also wrapped up this edition of Gunther News. To watch our bulletins again, you can log on to our website at guntertv.vn. And now, thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye and see you next time.